Uh, so a small client list. How many clients are you representing currently? I have about 25. So yeah. I, I, what are the odds that you're going to take somebody else on? How many are you taking on approximately per year? I try to keep it under 30. Um, you know, I... I'm a little bit right now, currently a little bit burnt out just as we all are. So in order to make sure that I'm you know, am there to support my clients, that's why I've been closed for you know a month, two months now. Um, but I'm hoping by the fall that, you know, I'll be open up and I'll be pretty hungry because I've been closed for so long. Um, you know, so I keep it around 30, um, give or take. And sometimes, you know, there's wiggle room because, you know, I'll sell a client and then they have a three book trilogy that's, you know, going on for the next six years. So, you know, even though I'll be kind of working with them and helping them with their sub rights and, and things like that, um, I won't be doing heavy editorial with them. So I'll have a little bit of space in my kind of editorial um, to to bring on someone new who needs a lot of editorial work. So um, uh, 25 to 30 clients and you're going to kind you're going to get back with me within 24 hours if I'm your client and I need something. How often um, is it comfortable then if if uh, if I'm one of those select 25? How 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 okay is it for me to contact you? I don't know. Every two days. Uh, hey Mary Seymour, I had uh, questions about uh, I, uh, something about cats. Uh, <laughs> thinking about writing a book about them, and you're a zoo, you were former zookeeper, so you might have the goods. Is that is that cool if I if I uh, arrange for an hour long phone conversation so you can give me the details on cats for my new book, possibly? <laughs> yes. Um, I will say that, you know, normally it comes in waves. So if, if I'm in the middle of contract negotiations with a client, then we're pretty much in constant communication. Um, or if we're doing heavy editorial, um, if we go out, if we're going right at, we're about to go out on submission the next week, um, then there's a lot of, you know, especially from newer, newer clients, they have a lot of questions. And I, I always tell them, don't be shy. Like, this is a partnership. We really need to be working together. Um, I mean, that's the reason why, you know, you're working with me. Um, you know, because a lot, I think a lot of authors are hesitant. There's this weird power dynamic between authors and, and agents, um, which is like, I, I'm hopeful that it's changing um, with the advent of transparency online and social media. But um, I know it's probably not 100%, but um, you really, it is a partnership. You know, we, we don't exist without you and, and we, you know, we're, we should be there to support you through your publishing journey. Um, and so, yes, if you really need to talk to me for an hour about cats, um, I will be there. But I also have learned to set my own boundaries and, you know, because that's the other thing is, you know, if an agent can't set boundaries, then they're going to get burnt out and, and that's not going to be helpful for anyone. So, um, that's part of the process of, of evolving as an agent. Well, then let me be the one to ask these questions since, uh, I'm presently you haven't made an offer of representation. Maybe that's coming after the show, but <laughs> as of this moment, not that yet. Um, so um, I'll go ahead and ask the dumb questions. And that way the folks that are maybe going to get that sweet offer will just be able to listen to this and they won't have to ask these dumb questions. Sure. What are those boundaries and, and what's pushing them? If I had a bad dream and I want to talk about it, am I pushing it at that point? Uh, how often is, 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 is me over contacting you? Sure. Um, you know, and this is this is very this is a very individual question. So this is this is my own personal sort of response. I know that many agents are are very different. Um, but in my case, you know, I tell my clients that you know weekends I probably won't even look at my email. Um, you know, and so if you have something happening over the weekend, again, it gets a little blurry if we're in the middle of intense stuff happening, like contract negotiation or editorial things like that. But in general, like. You know, I, I don't really, or late on Friday night, I probably won't respond to your email. Um, and then when it gets, you know, personal, it depends on how far we are in on in our relationships. So, you know, with newer clients, we both tend to be a little bit more professional, a little bit more um, direct, um, you know, and I'm, I'm at that point still urging them to like reach out with questions and, and you know, have, discuss with me, you know, for the most part, most of them are pretty shy. Um, and then if, if, you know, it's the random case where they're a little too aggressive or a little too chatty, I might, you know, just not respond for, you know, right away. I'll respond the next day and then say, OK, yes, you know, and I'll give them a, a kind of rundown of, of what they want to know. Um, you know, the thing about personal stuff is it's it's a difficult line to, to, to walk because, you know, personal situations can definitely impact your writing. 
Um, and so I want my clients feel, to feel comfortable, for example, if they get sick, you know, or like for, here's a good example. When I was sick with COVID, um, back in August last year, you know, I was so sick that I couldn't work. And so I had to, at some point, you know, email every single one of my clients and just to let them know. And it wasn't something that I was comfortable announcing online or talking about, you know, necessarily publicly, but, um, at that point, uh, I'm perfectly comfortable talking about it now, but, um, at that, so, but I did, you know, make sure that everyone knew what was going on and, and vice versa, you know, so if there's something big happening, like, you know, change in the family, pregnancy, illness, um, things like that. Um, and I also want to be there for them. You know, I want to, you know, send them baby shoes when they have a baby and, and kind of, um, I'm not great at birthdays though. I'm just realizing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, you get a nice contract. That'll be my birthday present. We'll be, we'll be good. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, it, it evolves as, as we get more comfortable with each other though, as, as, as we both realize that we are behaving professionally, you know, then the personal connection will get, grow deeper as well. Gotcha. Um, and so like at an ideal world, we get out of the pandemic. Uh, I'm assuming that you want to spend some time with your clients when possible. Like, hey, if we're both going to be at the same conference, let's hang out for a bit. Let's, uh, let's if you're in town, come by, stop by the agency and see me or, or things of that nature. Definitely. I would love that. You know, over the course of my agenting career, I have only met, now looking back on it, two of my clients. Um, and actually neither of those are my clients anymore, you know, so I would love to meet some of the clients that I've been working with for, for five years or something. So, um, it will, it, and there was, you know, whisperings of that before the pandemic hit and then obviously <laughs> not anymore, <laughs> but hopefully, yeah, hopefully in an ideal world, um, I, I would love to meet my clients for sure. <laughs>